Walker, I'm from Wichita, Kansas, and Mary Beck, she's from Newton, Kansas, it's about 30 miles north of Wichita. Um, we're both Ridge enthusiasts, like most of you are. Um, I, I've been playing for, well, since, since <laughs> some of you, <laughs> long before you two have been born. Uh, uh, I, started, I started playing in I played out of college uh, when I learned how to play in 65 and uh, gave up Ridge for a while and took it up and then gave it up and took it up again. Uh, so what we're going to talk about today is, uh, is preamps. And you, you, all, you know, all know how to preamp, but we're going to give you a, a couple of hints. I mean, you, you know, typically you learn if you have six in a suit and a weak hand, you preamp preamp at the two level, if you have seven, you preamp at the three level, if you have eight, you preamp at the four level. Well, that's sort of true, but I think we can do better than that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mary, interrupt any time you want. Okay, I like to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, we like to call this preamps a great, great equalizer. And, and why? Because even experts uh, often have trouble playing against uh, good preamps. I mean, they, they can trick or hornswoggle. I don't know if that's an Arkansas term, but <laughs> uh, even the best players. Okay, opponents might uh, not bid, they might underbid, they might overbid, or they might get to the wrong string. But, you know, they might in hearts when they ought to be in spades, or might be in diamonds when they ought to be in hearts. And you might actually get the right, uh, the right contract, and that's off the screen a little bit, and, but you might in some cases, or in a lot of cases, get partner off to the right lead. Okay, for winning preamps, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, you, you need to know whether or not you should and you need a preempt at the right level. And partner needs to know how many playing tricks you have. Uh, uh, and what, why do you think partner need, needs to know how many playing tricks you have? So they can bid. Yeah, so they can bid. Sometimes they're gonna raise. Uh, you know, uh, you know some, uh, some rule is you can raise to the level of the number of uh, uh, cards you think you have in the suit, you know. So, uh, so a partner, Preamps with uh, the three spades, and you you have four in the suit. Most of the time, uh, you know, bidding four is a no-brainer. But but knowing exactly how many tr playing tricks he has makes it a lot easier for you to uh, to know how high to bid or whether or not to bid at all. Okay. Okay. Uh, went through this a minute ago, but, you know, nor normally you bid a week, week two hearts with six, uh, three level with seven, four level with eight. And you, and some people play, you need, well, come on in. Okay, what we're talking about today is, is preamps. And uh, we're calling that the Grady Blight. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and get seated. And uh, there's two chairs right there, and there's another one or two in the front row. A lot of them in the front row. Might as well go on up there if you want. We're all Baptist. <laughs> You're all Baptist. <laughs> back, back seat Baptist. I'm not. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, we're we're talking about preamps. Okay, the way way most of us learn it is uh, you have six preamp two. So seven, you preempt three. Uh, eight, uh, eight preempt four, and some people play. Well, you need a, uh, you need a lot of the, you know, two of the top three or three of the top five honors. Well, uh, I think we can actually. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can read that, but hold on, uh, you can actually do better than this. Okay. Uh, anybody ever heard of the rule of two, three, and four? No. no. Oh, okay, great, great. Yeah. If, if everybody heard of it, we'd have to turn off the lights and go. <laughs> okay, the rule will tell you when to preempt, how high to preempt, 
And this rule will tell his partner how many playing tricks you have. Okay, what this means is with unfavorable vulnerability, uh, uh, you are vulnerable, uh, they are not vulnerable. You don't want to preempt too high. Why don't you want to preempt too high? You're vulnerable and, and they could double you off and you go for 500 against their 140 or, or 400 or 420 or something. So uh, if unfavorable, uh, you're, okay, sometimes you can say well, we're hot, they're not, or, or red versus black, or, or however you want to say it, but unfavorable vulnerability, you overbid by two tricks. Okay, with equal vulnerability, you're both hot, or both red, or both vulnerable, or both non-vulnerable, both flat. No, you overbid by th three tricks. And David, I, I think that one always kind of scared me because when you're vulnerable, you kind of think, well, gee, can I go up and overbid by three? But they're also vulnerable, and that keeps them kind of in, in uh, getting not too crazy. Yes. I just want to clarify. So yes. when you're both vulnerable, even though you only have six, you'll be a parent of three? If, if, um, we're, we're going to get there. Uh, That's not bad. Uh, we'll, we'll get there in a minute. Uh, it's based on, on plane tricks. If, if you have uh, six to the ace, ace king queen, and we'll show you. Uh, okay. pre preempt at the, at the three level. The, the theory behind it is you're bidding, bidding one more than you can afford to bid if partner has exactly zero tricks for you. You know, most, most partners are a little bit of help and they have a trick for them. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if, if your partner doesn't have anything, you just take that partner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bright light for you. Yeah. Okay, okay, now the fun part is if you aren't vulnerable, you, oops, I don't know what's happening here. Sorry, uh oh, they're shutting down on me. Give me a second here. Gives everyone a chance. If you, they didn't really say, but Mary has what about seven or eight hundred points? Oh no, oh, I have a little over five hundred. But she also did a social bridge type lesson at uh, top people at Wichita State. And David, I just don't want to say anything bad about him. He he used to help with our Sunflower Regional website. And he's a wonderful, and he he uh, was mad at me one day because I got involved in the Kansas Collective. It was just about that. <laughs> I was never mad at you. <laughs> never mad at you. Never. Oh, okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, we've got two more coming in. Okay. Right, with the door. Let's let them get seated. We've got two more. There's some spots in the front door. Late church people, it's the front now. <laughs> That's right. Amen. <laughs> oh, here. Thank you. Drive. Thank you. No, they haven't had it yet. No, if you just bought lunch. Yeah. That's for the lunch over Just hold us to the I will, I will. Okay, Dick, you can crawl to the front. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, now if it's favorable vulnerability, if, if they're red and you're black, they're vulnerable, you're not vulnerable, uh, you can go crazy. But we did by four tricks. Okay, uh, there's a few little rules. You really don't want to uh, preempt past game in your suit. You know, even. What, what's happening? Here? I don't know. What? This helps. Yeah. Probably stuck here. Sorry, Sorry, I see it unplugged. Trying to. Sorry, David. Okay, we might be all right now. We lost the power to.
that you're on the third one, when you're favorable vulnerability, you're not vulnerable and the opponents are vulnerable. Okay. <laughs> Okay, don't, uh, don't preempt the past game, even if the, even if the rules say, uh, well, never is a r real strong thing that I don't like to use, but you very seldom uh, ever preempt past game. Okay, how do you count playing tricks? I don't know, I think the dog's a card shot. Okay, in order to s decide how high to preempt, you need to know how to count your playing tricks. Okay. Uh, and the way to do it, and this may sound complicated, but it's not really that bad. Determine how many tricks you will win in the first of the top three in the suit. Okay? And then add one additional trick for each card over three in any, any suit. Okay, what, what the heck does that mean? Okay. Here are Ace, King, Queen that's worth three playing tricks. Ace, King, Little is worth two playing tricks. Ace, Little, Little is worth one. Ace, Queen little, you'll like this if you don't, if you, if you don't like fractions. It's, it, it's worth one and a half. Why do we call it one and a half? Well, if the king's on your left, you're only going to take one. Take one. Uh, if the king's on your right, you take two. Okay, king, uh, same way with king, queen, little. If ace is on your right, you might take uh, two. If the ace is on your left, it'll gobble the king or queen. You only take one. So stop there. Is there anyone that's not quite following, or do you feel as if you understand what this is saying? Because now's a good time if you're like, oh, I don't really get it. So the ace will take the first one, the king the second, the queen will the third, unless the placement of those cards is in front of you, so they have to go up with the king or your queen's good, or on and on like that. Okay. Okay, and, and king xx, <laughs> you know, it's sort of like like our weather around here is if you're on a rain, it's sort of 50-50, it's either will or won't. Okay, and, and kind of like that, King XX is the same way. Queen XX. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, uh, yeah, yeah, one, one in four, uh, for me it's one in, one in a million. Uh, ace, <laughs> uh, ace King is on the right. Okay, Jack, Little Lil, that's not worth much. Okay, Little Lil, little, little, that doesn't, not worth anything. Okay, add one additional trick for each card over three in any suit. Okay, that's worth four playing tricks. You're saying, well, the little one might not be good. Yeah, but it, it might be. It counted as four playing tricks. If everyone follows suit, then see you've got perhaps... Our partner three. has four little ones mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay, uh, ace, king, little, little, uh, that fourth card uh, in the suit, count as three playing tricks. Okay, uh, in this suit, uh, Ace and five small, count that as four playing tricks. Ace, queen, little, 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 three for the, so that's about three and a half playing tricks. Okay, one, two, three, four, it's about five and a half playing tricks. Okay, this is about four and a half playing tricks. And that's uh, what, four or five, that's about a little over five playing tricks. And count that as four playing tricks. Count that as one playing trick. Count so you saw the length of a suit really helps when you're then getting back in your hand. Those David, can you up. go back? David, can you go back to the other? Okay. Thank you. Let me just look at that for just a second. <laughs> okay. So He's talking about, but I don't understand the math of it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So uh, what we're talking about, about and even, even if you have, even if the question back here was, am I talking about the preempt suit? Uh, Yes, yes and no. I mean, uh, this applies to the preempt suit, but if, if you have a side suit that is uh, four little ones, four to the jack, count that as a playing trick. How do you get four playing tricks with only an ace when they have the king, queen, jack? Uh, well, well, unless... If you have six, some of them are going to file on each other. Yeah, yeah, more than likely, unless you're, unless you're very unlucky. You know, if uh, if if part, you know, if it, if they split evenly around around the table, you're gonna you're gonna lose two tricks. Okay. So 
You're right, they couldn't split four, two, or five, one of them. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, and, 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 and if your partner doesn't have the four. To me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> things, things can happen. What's the percentage of splitting two, two on the Prius? Uh, not, not, not very good, maybe, uh, what, what would you say, about uh, 35? 35, so usually it's three, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let, let's look at a few hands. Uh, Okay, these first hands were some hands we had in one of our duplicate games in Wichita. And, okay, look, uh, this is the kind of junk I, I tend to get. You, anybody get a hands like this? Okay, okay, uh, you're north, uh, you're non vulnerable, and they're vulnerable, okay? Let's look at the playing tricks, okay? On, on clubs, we have about three in a fraction. And I'm say, saying Cal, Cal Hearts is a, that's one. But there's, there's a couple reasons, uh, so, so you can probably get to uh, four in a fraction, fraction playing tricks there, and one for the ace of spades, five in a fraction. So uh, we say you can overbid by four here. So, so uh, you could bid three clubs, but there's about three reasons not to. Okay, one, one is you really don't want to do it uh, with four of a major, especially if, there's a, uh, if it's four to an honor. It was four little ones, maybe, but four to the honor. Uh, don't don't do it. Okay. The the other thing is your your suit is pretty bad here. Mm -hmm. You know, if you had queen jack nine or even queen ten nine, uh, you know that's that's about a half a trick better, and maybe you can get away with it. So unless you really fe feeling kind of froggy and you want to jump, uh, it's best just to pass here. So this, um, we're saying that's worth five playing tricks. Uh, you you could bid three, but but because of the queen four of hearts, what what might happen is is it goes three clubs pass pass pass, and you find find out partner had four hearts, five hearts, wasn't able to bid, and you, and, and you don't do very well. So on this one, you probably ought to pass. David, oh, yes. you always turn it before I want to say something else. <laughs> I, um, whoops, someone's coming to you. Well, we're trying to. Yeah. Marked on every yeah. Right. We started once. Is there one vacant chair okay. somewhere? Okay. Uh, already, <coughs> just going back through this, oops, wait till we hear me. Um, but, you know, that's kind of questionable, he said, so you might lose all three of those playing tricks, yeah. but you have the three here, so you count the three, you have four, so you count that one, and then the ace. So that's where it was coming up with your number of playing tricks, just to help you for those who aren't, you know, or this is introduced new to you. So I'm just trying to, and he said just a little bit over that, your queens might turn out to be possibly good. Of course, you've got a partner who might have something in those suits, but if you're just looking at your own playing tricks, that's why he was just saying a little over five. Okay, let, um, we changed the hand just a little bit. Okay, uh, yeah, we might even have one less point. Here we have eight high card points. Here we only have seven. But this, this is a better hand uh, for preempting. Okay, why? Is because queen, queen jack nine uh, will probably get you, a, that's probably a playing trick, right? And four, three, two, that's four. Uh, the ace of spades is five. One for four hearts. Even though you have four hearts, they're all small ones, so it it would only bother me a little bit to uh, preempt in this one and, and be worried about partner having hearts. So so on this one, uh, you, you you have the same five five playing tricks uh, or basically what you had before, right? Three four or do you actually have six here? Three four. You actually have six playing tricks. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, you can add four. I don't think I'd preempt the four clubs, though. I think three clubs is probably high enough. And you don't have <clears throat> honor in your four-card major, and that's another thing to keep in mind. If you have a four-card major and you preempt, oftentimes, in it, even if your partner had that four-card major, it's hard to find that fit of four-four in the major suit, which is a higher point count per game or points in Heart score. So, but in this case, you don't have an honor in your major suit, which is hearts. So it's a better thing to go with. 
Now, for some reason, don't want to go to the next. Oh, there we go. No? Give me a second here. We're going to ask if anyone had a preemptive hand this morning that you wanted to look on your hand record and have us put up here or just say, hey, everyone, look at number nine or something because it might be fun to, to talk okay, about. Okay, when you talk about preempts, that can also, if you play uh, uh, weak jump overcalls, you can also apply this to uh, uh, to second position after uh, they've opened in front of you. You have to be a little bit more careful. But, uh, okay, let's, let's look at this one. Uh, you have, you know, how, ma how many plane tricks and hearts you have? Three, maybe uh, three, th three in a fraction. Uh, queen 10, little might be worth a plane trick. You can call that four, I guess. And queen jack 10 is worth playing a trick. That's five. Okay. Uh, so if you have equal vulnerability, you can overbid by three tricks. So that'd be eight tricks. So here's kind of kind of optional. If you want to make a jump over call to two hearts, uh, you can do that. If if these were spades instead of hearts, uh, I'd really want to do it because spades is the is a boss suit and you take up a lot of bidding room. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, if these were spades, you couldn't keep me from preempting uh, over one diamond. And what time does it just Next game will be a two, so you're okay. Oh, okay, Here, here's a, a real interesting one. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have uh, six spades. Hmm. Okay, to the king, ten, nine. How many plain tricks would you consider spades? Uh, how many uh, tricks in spades do you think you'll take? Probably four? Four. Yeah, I think four. The king, ten, nine uh, really enhances your your chances of taking at least one, one trick in the first three. And the ace of diamonds is worth a trick. And that fourth diamond's worth a trick. Uh, you know, it may not seem like it is, but uh, but, but this does work pretty good. So uh, you actually have have six tricks. So what would you bid, everyone? Four spades. Four spades. Four spades. Yeah. Woo! And and, and, you, and you're the last of the high flyers, but that's yeah. that's what I do too. Four Jeez. spades. As a preempt. As a preempt. The opponents are vulnerable. So if they're vulnerable and you're not vulnerable, how many do you overbid by? Four. Four. Unfavorable would be two. When you're even Stephen on vulnerability, three. And when you have favorable vulnerability, you add four to the number of playing tricks. And your partner knows exactly how many tricks you can take. Isn't that cool? Yeah, if you have a if you have a bad partner and they don't have any tricks for you and you go and you go down four, you can say Hey, oops, partner, I, I thought one of my hearts was in with the spade or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, usually the opponent's in should have been a slam, and you still come out free, I think, maybe. <laughs> That's all they do. Okay, if they double you and have game, you're fine. Uh, uh, as, long as, as long as you only go down three. Okay, uh, it might be a little scary, but you know, mo um, most of you in here are pretty fearless. I see you play. Okay, part partner preempts four spades, uh, not vulnerable. Uh, quite a question: uh, How many playing tricks does he say he has or she has? Six. six. Yeah, they were bid by four. Okay. Uh, how, how many tricks do you have for them, more than likely? Four. Uh, five. Five, probably, right? Uh, maybe maybe six in a good day, but probably five. And, and uh, so even though you would like to bid on, uh, you just you just barely you just cover partners overbid. 
So I, uh, I hope I don't make a liar out of myself and says bid six, but uh, let's, let's see what it says next. Well, let's go, the, the hand prior to that slide, Yes. they did four spades with the king. Yeah. Right, this is a different hand. Yeah, yeah, but, but you're it saying. it could have been the hand that we just Absolutely, absolutely. So let's go back and look at that hand. Okay, okay let's see what, that's, that's very, very good. Okay, my, my mouse is broken. Uh, sorry. I hate it when I don't my mouse is broken. Yeah. No. Let's see if we can get back. Okay. Let's look at this. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, uh, that, those hands could match, right? Except for the ace of diamonds is in both hands. Oh, okay, except for that. Director, uh, please. No. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so, so you'll probably you'll probably lose two spade tricks, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, can we so play? So if that ace of diamonds and the queen of clubs were separate with switch. Okay, let's do that. Okay, it, let's go back. Work. Ace of diamonds. No, uh, it's not. The ace of diamonds is in the right place. Okay, the okay. Right. So. You make six. Well, no, you're probably going to lose two spades. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You're going to lose the spades. Uh, I'm looking at You don't have right. an ace of spades. Yeah, you're going to lose queen. You're, or you're, queen. You're, I mean, you could get lucky. No, but, you're not. You're going to. So that's a good bid. So four spades pass. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes you're saying, "Well, I got the world spare." Well, I want to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but, but for, part, the partner bid half of your hand for you. This is very interesting, David. Thank you. You could have a spade loser too, and, and you could possibly have a diamond loser. Yeah. You might not be able to get rid of them all before you have to pull yeah. trump. It's just four spades. If partner goes down, don't say, uh, I'll try to have more next time. <laughs> that's, that sounds like something I would say. Okay, this, this was a hand that came up yesterday morning. Uh, it was board 15, and uh, and, and you're, uh, you're south, uh, you're vulnerable, and they are not. Um, um, should you preempt, and if so, how high? I bid two hearts. I love it. Uh, two two hearts. Two hearts is perfect. Let, let's see why. Okay, you got one, two, three, four. You have four long heart tricks. Uh, the king ten nine is worth one. That's five. Four spades worth six. Overbid by two. That that says. Uh, 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 so, so you would bid two hearts on it. Yep. The problem with bidding three hearts is uh, is they could double you off and, and your 500 goes against their game or whatever. And uh, let's see if I, uh, if I happen to, uh, put in the, Okay, okay. They, uh, the opponents might get three no trump, but with a heart lead, it might be tougher. Oh, I wish I had put up the whole hand. This is one where, according to the double dummy analysis, uh, they can always make uh, three no trump against and you. And it shows, yeah, that, see, they could make four no trump if you didn't give that preempt because partner would not have led their singleton. Uh, well, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I looked at the hand for about uh, half an hour, and uh, and if the opponents looked in all the hands and played like like an expert, they could possibly make four no trump no matter what the lead is. But if, once you bid hearts and partner leads a heart, it's going to be very very difficult for them to make that extra trick. And uh, and I looked at the results of the board, and it was all over the place. Uh, some people were in three hearts down two, undoubled. Uh, uh, okay, the lady who said you bid two hearts, did they end up getting the three no trump? It is quarter chill, just so you know. Okay, yeah. but we need to quit. Uh, yes, and I okay, it's wrong. Well, let, let me go, go to the summary just real quick, and we'll wrap this up. Mm -hmm. And the drawing. And, and the, the drawing, drawing. okay. Yes, I'm trying to go back there. Okay, uh, overbid with two tricks. Uh, Unfavorable vulnerability. Uh, you're vulnerable, uh, they're not. If you have equal vulnerability, you're, you're both vulnerable, both are not. Overbid by three tricks. Overbid by four tricks, 
and favorable vulnerability. And that, that's about it. And I, I, I and look for all opportunities to preempt. Go preempt if you have an opening hand. If it's a hand you could open in, uh, probably you don't want to you don't want to preempt. But that that's about it. And we want you to have fun and yes, do well the rest of the day. And be happy. Yeah. Preempt. Okay, drop it out, David. Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, and say the name, and here's the winner for this drawing. Okay, the winner is Christy 